I try to be a stranger to it. It's not that I naturally feel a stranger. I do try to be as, as a foreigner as I can with the digital world. I do feel that the feeling that you get, uh, the emotions that you get, get when you create something that intervenes reality is different than when you create something that is just on screen. Maybe because I feel like a strange to the digital world that there is nothing there that surprises me. There is no messing it up and mistakes. I think also that when I die with natural is the, the color being weird because I did something different. Maybe I don't know it enough and it is maybe some glitch, but I feel that working with crafts and manual work surprises me more than digital platforms. So I wanted to show you my latest project. Uh, it's the first approach to explore a fictional history of pregnancy interruption practices in com pre hispanical communities in the coast of Peru. So I've been mixing huacos. The project is called uh, Embriones Huaco, Huaco Embryos. And I've been mixing the shape of Wacos from different cultures, Mochicas, Nazca. I've been mixing these types of shapes with the figures of my ceramic embryos. Here are some examples. It's a project that deals with the filters imposed by colonialism and patriarchy. For example, with colonization, they register only what they understood. And also historians and archaeologists have studied and registered everything from a male point of view. So in a way, it deals with that, but it also questions what was allowed to represent by pre-Hispanic communities and to delve into the genealogy of the struggle for our body's sovereignty. What motivates my work and my desire to create is the, the look for freedom. I don't feel free. I don't feel that any woman in spaces such as misogynist as Peru can feel free. So I create in, and I try to understand myself and, and how I do understand freedom. This is why I create. So also being the slave of social media and they activating this addiction makes me feel that I'm not fulfilling this desire of freedom that someone is choosing for me or is tying me without me even realizing it. So that's also a factor why why I try to go to other things and, and this all with especially with social media. I have no desire to define myself or to define my work. It actually feels like I'm putting myself a wall of, or a structure that I don't want to be in. Because I do work related to gender, most of the exhibitions that I'm in are about gender. Like, they cannot think my work outside 
when I, I see my work as a little bit more complex and just gender themes. So it feels really limiting to define your work or yourself. Clandestina started with a personal process that was my abortion in 2016. And in Peru is illegal most types of abortion. So I needed to access all through a clandestine way. The whole process was charged with guilt and silence and, and with uncertainty, not knowing how actually the procedure worked or when my body was crossing the line of being at risk. So I started doing the ceramic embryos at the beginning to invite different women to replicate the process that I have gone through the ayahuasca ceremony. That didn't work because they didn't relate it to the black ceramic embryos. So then I realized that the pieces talk more about my process than anyone else's process. So to represent what I didn't manage to represent with only the ceramic embryos, that was the emotional stage of being pregnant with an unwanted being. I start doing a self-portrait that was this hanging bodies. At the beginning was just one. All the hanging bodies are different. Uh, layers of textiles each need with the idea that the weight is not only in the ceramic. Most of my work, I do it as a healing process. And it was curious because actually many of the symptoms of my abortion replicated after finishing the pieces of clandestinas and I felt much lighter. The only digital work I think I've done was when I painted the fire in the Brazilian Amazon in 2019 in the body of a woman. But I did it slowly. It took me weeks. It took me not the same time as an embroidery, but it felt like an embroidery, a digital embroidery in a way. I didn't feel that I lost a connection between myself and the piece because I approach the piece from the mind of a painter. Maybe that also came because the digital media felt really new for me. And I was trying to find out how could I create through that media. I think it depends on each person, how one relates to their, their surrounding. For me, it is really important to touch. And I also feel really comfortable when I'm doing things with my hands. So the digital and working in computer had creates this feel so distant in a way that I need to go back to do manual work. I think it's important to put in question how we are experiencing art through the digital. It does feel more democratic and that is a really important thing and especially in, in pandemic I saw many spaces from Lima that went to the virtual world and had their exhibitions there and I don't doubt that that attract different audience than the one that usually goes to those spaces. But many times it's more like an illusion of democracy in a space that is actually filtered and an enhanced bubble of where you usually move or what you usually see. That recalls me to an article I read about visual illiteracy of 
not being able to read the image and the symbols and even if we are getting saturated of images we are losing our capacity to actually read what the image is telling us and I do feel that is happening all my work is symbolic the allegory is really important in my work so from that point of view I do feel it's tougher to assimilate what the image is telling us and on top of that you well, you put fake news and, and these Photoshop images. Yes, we are talking about the artwork that we see on Instagram, but because everything is so aesthetic now, even the news, the image of, of the news, I think it's really difficult to distinguish how we are assimilating a, a photo of a conflict and a, an artwork. It is creating an overflow that is really difficult to keep track on 